This was an eBay buy. This one actually worries me a little bit because the seller had the same pictures for two different saws. He said he had two different saws. One, uh, I got this one for $61. The other one had a buy it now price of like 250 bucks. And then I'm like, well, you got the same picture for sale. Oh, well, one runs and one doesn't. Well, that doesn't matter. So I already bought it. So if this doesn't match what was in the pictures, I am going to make us think about it. Because, you know, if that's not cool, having the same pictures for two different items, that's just not two used items, you know what I mean? Like, So, I will scrutinize this one and compare it to the pictures. And I'll probably, if it's not the right one, I might make a rant video just so I can link it to a feedback on this, uh, this engagement page. Because that just ain't cool, right? And eBay doesn't like that either. I mean, it's one thing if it's a brand new item, just have one stock photo, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you're selling a used item, you should have pictures of the actual item. And this stuff about packing materials for the next. Oh, here it is. Hey, threw in some hockey. Threw in some cards. The guy, the guy on his, uh, eBay account, he sells a lot of comics and cards, like, so I think this isn't something that he really knows much about, but, uh, but has a bar. Bars are always good. It's loose. I have to tighten that up because the bar, the bar is kind of crap. Yeah, you know, that might tighten up these rivets and then I use it. Sprocket seems all right. But here's what I was, here is what I was buying. And already I can tell you this is not the one in the photos. Uh, yeah, so. Got compression though, so. So I'm gonna not trash the guy too much, but I'm gonna make a video cause you know what? You're gonna sell an item. Uh, take real pictures of it, and I'll uh, I'll add some uh, picture in picture of the ones that I actually was supposed to have bought, and maybe you all can uh, give me some recommendations on how I should proceed. Because I mean, it's a Poolin Pro 305, but the one like it'll be in the corner here. That I was supposedly was to get was uh well they have the decals on this side and this isn't a horrible saw considering I only paid sixty one dollars for it on auction and it seems to have compression so I'll take it to the basement and do a little more research on it okay see you guys in a bit okay so let's take a look at this uh, pool and pro uh, 305. So it feels like it has compression. Uh, so I'm mad it's not the one in the picture. I mean, I don't care. This one to me is still worth what I paid for it, but just have the right picture. Like, I'm not sure if I should make a thing about it or not. Maybe 20 bucks back. Maybe. Because it's just dishonest, right? Like, I don't know. Anyways, I don't think this chain break works. Which I really don't care. No, something's something snapped in there. That's okay. Clutch, rim drive. This looks like it's set up for 325. Which is alright. Clutch looks alright. Dogs are a little loose. A little bit mix matched parts, but that's okay. Like I said, I don't I'm not complaining about that, just the fact that it's a different saw than was in the picture. I mean, it's not a 305 even. Do I have to take this right off to get to the spark plug? That's kind of stupid. Oh, I seem to think other cool ones are like that too, but let's see what we got. I feel like absolute ass today. Wife and I went out for wings last night, had a few pints of beer. Then I had a tall can that I had here, whatever, which is a different kind of beer. 
And then I had my advent calendar beer. And I think mixing three different kinds of beer together did not work well for me. Like, pfft. I've not felt this crap in a while. Or maybe it's a little bit something else. Who knows? Ugh. Jesus. That's on the Why is it on there so tight? Oh, there we go. There we go. I kind of like you have to take all this off to get to the spark plug, but it is what it is, I guess. Oh, there's two on this side, too. That's silly. Take a look at the... What I'm going to do is look at the piston uh, through the exhaust port. I'm going to do a compression test, check for spark. And chances are, this, if, if, like usual, if all that passes, then... Uh, just be a matter of fuel system, which these I think have Walboro HDB or something like that, which I despise those carburetors. Okay. Okay, let's take this muffler off. That's what I need right there. I guess they're three. It's what's that? Ten millimeter. Close enough. For some, for some reason, I thought it was uh, the three thirties or seven sixteens heads. It's not really relevant, but yeah, it's got all the crappy goodies in there. Now there's some scoring on the piston, but it's really not that bad. It's actually really minor. Bring you guys in, see if you can see that. Get some light on the situation. Okay, so can you see that? I don't know, on camera it looks a lot worse than it is, but uh, uh, what do I have? It's not there or anything. Dried up Sharpie. Oh, so you can feel it, but still. I really don't think it's that bad, and it's not into the ring. I think it just swallowed a chunk of carbon, and that's it. That. Okay, now I'll see if there's a spark. Scrunch. I'm going to scrunch a head on here I took upstairs. While I was doing other stuff and didn't put anything back. And that should work. Alright, I, mean, I, I don't know if I'm going to pull a cylinder off this today, but later tonight I might do that. It's an evening project. Nice healthy spark. Um, I don't know the last time this thing ran, so I just put a drop of oil down the cylinder just to... In case the cylinder's a little on the dry side. So there was a mark on the piston on the front, but the compression did feel all right. I'm good. You guys aren't even looking here. Uh -huh. So, that's in there. Chokes off. Lock throttle. Let's see what we got. Poles. So yeah, 15 poles. Uh, yeah, the piston's got a mark on it, but look at that. That's almost 180 PSI. So yeah, there ain't nothing wrong there. Like I said, I'm going to still pull the cylinder, clean the piston up, because why not, right? I mean, this is 
gonna be a pretty healthy saw I think anyways hope you enjoyed talk to you guys later